Welcome back to Turning Hard Times to Good Times. I am your host, Jay Taylor, and I'm really pleased to have with me once again my friend and colleague, Chen Lin. And Chen uh, has been on this show a number of times, not nearly often enough, I might add, but uh, really glad to have him back again. Thanks for joining me, Chen. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, and you're talking to me today from uh, the Denver Gold Show, I guess. And um, um, how, how are things out there in terms of gold? Is there a lot of pessimism, a lot of... Uh, People feel like uh, you know maybe they should just give up on on, my, on uh, gold mining. Well, the, the the conference is well attended. You know, uh, I I met so many people, and there are not many new ideas. Okay, a lot of those are just old uh, companies. You gave an update. You talked to them. You went through many many meetings. Uh, in general, people some people are pessimistic, as you said, but some people are optimistic. Right? I, I'm I'm there. I'm. I went there with open mind and trying to look for opportunities. That's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm good at. So I, yes, I went are. through the conference. I, I can tell you uh, one of the great opportunities seems to be a novel resource that's mm-hmm. been discussed many times on your radio show, and then we discussed that before. Yes, and I think you uh, spent a fair amount of time with Dr. Quentin Henning, didn't you, when you were up there uh, at the, at yes, the show, exactly. at, the, at Beaver Creek? Graciously, yes, he graciously gave me uh, two meetings. We went through over an hour uh, to go through oh, every aspect of that. I think there were excitement. And in front of management, there was, there was exciting announcement because they just acquired, they had been looking at this for years, and then they finally announced they're closing another deal on the east side. Right? The significance of that deal is the deal uh, is has production license. Think about it. Right now, the deterrent at Purdy's reward, as all the other places, uh, they need to pr- to apply for a production license. Production mm-hmm. license require you need to work with the Aboriginal to give them a royalty. You need to have a resource report to prove that you have a go there, which is actually you know it's the most difficult part of it because it's very nuggety. Right? Yes. Uh, so the good analogy for Novo's claim is like diamond. Right? It's a lot of nugget, a lot of nugget there. Yeah, and, and then you need a, you really need a mine to trial mining to give you the confidence to go there, and then they were a couple of years, at least a couple of years away from their current con- concession. Now they have this one; they've been going after for years, and then they have mining license on that. They can go try mining next year. Next year they can be a producer. And that's a great news. But unfortunately, the video broken right on the internet last year. The noble resource exploded when they show the video, but this year the, the internet is not working somehow. They, 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 the, those all the traders are waiting for the video, they didn't see anything, so they sell it down. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we were... We, we, Noble was down 20%. Yeah, we were told, actually, that there would be a live feed for uh, Quentin's address there, and uh, then there was nothing, and, and uh, the website said you're going to have to wait a few days before it's available, so I guess that was a disappointment. Uh, Chen, uh, this... the, the um, the deal they just did, the new ground where they have the license to go ahead and mine, um, is that quite a ways away from uh, Purdy's Reward and, and Comet Well, the two areas that they had been exploring? It's uh, some distance. It has uh, at the eastern end of the basin, okay? And then, oh. But they have been following because they, uh, they signed the agreement, exclusive agreement, six months, right? So can, they can watch. Uh, the claim owner mining. They can see how did they uh, attack, how did they mine those, how did they get the gold out, and they can they even went there to pan the gold of their tailing. Make sure the gold there is consistent with what they have in Purdue's reward. Actually, they are not getting a little bit bigger than Purdue's reward, which is kind of interesting, but it's very similar. So then they got that with the license, and then they can immediately they can mobilize and start mining next year and have uh-huh. the revenue come in. You know, and they, think about it, 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 they're the grade there, minimum is half an ounce per ton. You know, where you find this kind of grade, open pit? Uh, that, of course, that's to be that's to be established yet. We don't know that, do we, Chen, yet? I mean, the, the half a... Half that, a but but they, yeah. so far, they've been, a few places that have been done at least or higher. Right? So, now, you're talking about the new ground that they just acquired through this acquisition, right? And they own 100% of that, Chen? They own 100%. Uh, they have a, some royalty to Aboriginal people, which mm-hmm. you need to do that when you apply for sure. the production license anyway. So, But they already come with production, two production licenses. They can 
get to the, you know, they can shop already, right? They can mm-hmm. start. And then they, they use so they made a lot of pro- progress in how to separate those uh, nuggets. So right. it's all there. They've done years of research. It's getting close. So all right. Well, that's a very good opportunity to pick up some Novo shares. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I think you indicated you might be doing that today, and I know I, I picked up a few after I talked to you yesterday. Uh, well, anyway, I'm really happy uh, that you got a chance to talk to Quentin. He'll be coming on this show sometime in the near future, I'm sure. Uh, it's. Uh, I'm happy about that, Quentin, uh, because, you know, uh, Chen, I, it's still my largest holding, and I'm very pleased. Uh, okay, let's get on to a couple of the other ones you, went, uh, you met up with, I guess, Camino Minerals. Uh, trades in Toronto, COR is a symbol. It's around $0.14, cents, only 57.6 million shares. So it's a very low-cap company there, a Peruvian uh, copper target, I guess. Uh, Los uh, Chapitos, I think, is the name of the property. Is that ca- What do you know about that, and why are, why why do you want to highlight that one? Uh, this stock is not just copper, well, copper. They also have some gold. Okay, and then it used to be over $2.00. Uh, I think a year or two ago, yes. and then they came straight down because you know investors have lost the interest of that project. But mm-hmm. but they continue to do the work. The management was very smart. They raised money when the stock was much higher, so they had money. They done all of this groundwork, and now they seem to have to find where to you know where the big target is, and they seem to have a target all over the whole mountain. Potentially, they can start drilling very soon. Very good. Uh, so we can and look for the, some news. And then uh-huh. the stock is a very simple story. Uh, and then I, what I like, uh, Ken McNaughton, who was, who was running the company, he's the largest shareholder. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I like this kind of situation. And uh, uh, the honest guy, and then put his money on the line. And, uh, you know, uh, the same as shareholder. Yeah, he is, has a very good reputation, a very, a very solid geologist, uh, very well regarded, I know, in the uh, among the community, the mining community. Uh, anything else you want to tell us about that one? I think it's you say it's got some gold too, right? A gold, copper. I know it's yeah, in the I IOCG I belt. Want, I, just want, I just want to mention that it dropped. The stock dropped more than ninety percent in the past yeah. year. And then, uh, from, you know, uh, the investors well, there's no hope. You look at the market cap, but there seems to they seem to on the edge of the discovery. Yeah. Well, that. all right. Well, that's that's one we'll have to keep our eyes on. Uh, all right. Switching uh, into the uh, biotech sector, which is one of your strong points, I would say, where you've made most of your money in the last couple of years, right? So, Oncosec Medical, ONCS, uh, $1.53 in U.S. money, 51, only 51.9 million shares. I guess that's, uh, they're looking really to develop a, a novel immunotherapy cancer treatments, right? And, and what can you tell us about this one? Yeah, exactly. Uh, last time I mentioned the stock was trading like 10, 15% lower. I'm glad maybe some of your listeners and some of my subscribers that they start picking up the stock. It, it look at from what I've seen. I've been in biotech for so many years. This looks like a kind of no-brainer. Uh, I, I visited them about a week ago. Uh, they have an office, very humble office in Pennington, New Jersey. Uh, and I met all the management and the team. It's a very interesting company. The story is very short. Okay, put it very short. right now. The market cap is about 100 million. Last time we talked about it, 90 million, not 100 million. Okay, they try to enhance uh, the cancer treatment, right? So for, they have two JV, okay, uh, uh, two joint research of uh, sponsored by Merck. Okay, one is mm-hmm. for the triple negative breast cancer, one is for melanoma. Okay, so either uh-huh. of them successful, uh, it was at least one billion. Uh, why? Because there was already a case this year. Eli Lilly bought a, a company competitor of theirs, Armo, for 1.5 billion cash. Okay, uh-huh. so they're doing those two trials. Uh, the initial data will come out at San Antonio, which is early December this year, and then uh, m- major data will come out. One is the first half of next year. One second half of next year. So you know, two short on go. They're fully funded. They recently done financing a dollar fifty, no warrant. Right. Last time we talked about it, we're trading at below a dollar fifty. Now we're trading above a dollar fifty. It's just a fire. You, you basically the largest shareholder you, you buy today is the same price as the largest shareholder put in just put in as a few few months ago. Why is a few months ago? Why is a few weeks ago? So mm. it's a you know it's a very interesting situation. And you know these people quite well, I guess. Uh, 
And that's one of the things I should tell my listeners, uh, Chen, is that when you get involved in these companies, you are very involved with them. You learn to know the managements. Uh, you look them in the eyes. Uh, you can sense uh, a lot about them and their personalities and stuff. These are intangibles that don't doesn't show up in the in the stock chart. But uh, I mean, you can't see them from the, from the tech, you know, from the technical stuff or from the scientific data, but the intangibles and the people, you learn to know them very well. I think that's very important. Well, with uh, just a couple of minutes left, I want to ask you about Valera Energy, VLE, uh, trades in Canada under that symbol, 86.1 million shares, $4, uh, a little over $4 Canadian earlier this morning, an oil and gas exploration company, producer as well in Turkey, Chen, or just exploration? Uh, it's exploration. We're now going to produce probably next year, getting the mm-hmm. uh, producer status. Uh, their uh, their partner is the largest uh, Norwegian company, like one of the largest in the world, Stat Oil. And the last time we talked, I was buying at three dollar Canadian, uh, just about three dollar. Now it's four dollar. I'm glad it went up like thirty percent. I hope some of you listening to pick up some share the three. Uh, the recent news was there's a. Uh, uh, geopolitically, with Turkey, U.S. seems to be getting a little bit better, and people seem to be in better mood investing in Turkey. Okay, that's one of the things. Another was uh, when they they have they start with test run. Okay, they start test run. Uh, they reopen up the four zone to start to produce. At the beginning, produce production was not as good as people thought. So there was a little bit people uh, worry about. But I talked to management. It seems that they uh, people worry about water. They, they don't believe it's the water. There are any water there, but they need more time to test it. So they, uh-huh. you know, they, they all, all these stuff, you know, juniors go up and down. You just need to have a good spot to buy, buy low. Right, and you have to be patient sometimes. That's, uh, another, that's another thing you have to do. Well, Chen, uh, we're just about out of time. If you can, maybe 30 seconds or so, tell us a little bit about uh, as, uh, a Casti Pharmaceutical. Uh, they're involved with cardiovascular disease uh, approach and uh, novel approaches to uh, to helping out with those problems. What can you tell us real quickly about uh, yeah, the, the, about the, Acasti? Exactly. Thanks. Yeah, this stock I invest in for five years, so I know this very very well. I know this space very very well. Uh, this Monday, there's a big news uh, that came out. Right, it called reduce it. So what they found was found that they can by taking those uh, lower cholesterol drugs, you can reduce your heart attack by 25 percent. Okay, before. Uh-huh. The Akasi was a nightmare for investors because they undercapitalized. No investor wants to put money in. They will be sold. The market is saturated. Now you see you can reduce heart attack by 25%. You know, the market immediately opened up. This is like a Valara moment when Valara was trading at $1. Right? I told it to ever that's the time to buy. This is the same because at that moment, this uh, Akasi value has increased at least 10, 20, 30 fold. But market doesn't appreciate that. They only increased like 30, 40%. And the company needs to do a financing. My advice is wait a little bit and let them do financing. And then you use your, take a spot to, to pick up your share, buy more shares. All right. Is, it, is this the company that uh, uses Krill? Yes, use the Krill. That's a major difference than what they have in, we have in the market right now. Uh, scientifically, uh-huh. if you've been in there for five years, I know that they're just six times more effective than fish oil. Okay, so it's easier to be absorbed by the human body. Because I see. All right. Well, we'll have to leave it go at that, Chen. Thanks so much for sharing your your insights and your knowledge about these companies. Uh, always a pleasure to have you with us, and we'll have to do it again sometime real soon. Uh, thanks again. <music> 